What's going on you guys? Today we're going to be learning the song Teenagers by My Chemical Romance. Real quick, before we get into it, I would like to ask that if you find this guitar tutorial helpful, that you please consider subscribing. That would really mean the world to me. Now let's get into it. You are watching. Logan's Lessons. Let's start with the main riff of this song. It's super bluesy and super cool and it actually plays through most of this song. We put our index finger on the second fret of the A string and you're going to play the low E and the A string together, palm muted, downwards twice. Like that. Then we take our pinky finger or third finger, whichever is most comfortable for you, and hit the fourth fret of our A string. Okay? And then we go back to the second fret. Okay? Like that, do that with me. Then right there we hit that second fret of our A string with the low E one more time, like that. Do that with me. Then right here what we do is we hammer on from the third fret to the fourth fret of our low E string using our middle finger on the third fret of our low E and our third finger on the fourth fret of our low E. Like that. And then right after you do that, you take your hand and you go down here and we hit the uh, high E and B strings just open. So, just like that. So, like that. So you do that whole thing twice. Do that with me. Then we have this thing, where we start with our index finger again on the second fret of the A string. You play that downwards twice. Then we take our third finger and place it on the fourth fret. Just hit that once, and then you go back down to the second fret. Then you hit the fifth fret with your pinky. Go back down to the second fret. Third fret with your fourth finger and then your first finger again. So you have like that. So in context, do that with me. Okay, so then right here, we get into a really fun part. You put your first finger, you keep that first finger right there on that second fret of your A string, then your third finger is going to go on the fourth fret of your D. And you play that twice. Then you take your pinky and you place it on the sixth fret of your D string. It's a bit of a stretch, but I believe you can do that. So you have where you play the regular bar chord twice. This one with your pinky on the sixth fret once. Back to the just your third finger on the D string there on the fourth fret. So yeah. And then you hit it, the bar chord one more time. So we have. Okay, do that with me. Then right after that, last down strum there, we take our third finger on the fourth fret of the A string, slide it up to the sixth, then you bar across the fourth fret of your D and G strings and you strike those. Like that. And I would strum that upwards. So you have like a... Do that with me. So in context... Okay, one more time. Okay, and then right here we go down so that our first finger is on the second fret of the D string. And we hit that twice. And then we're basically doing the same thing we were doing earlier with this. But just right here where we're hammering on from the third fret of our A string to the fourth fret of our A, and then we're actually going to bar across the second fret of our D and G strings for our up strum instead of just the high B and the B and the high E strings being open. So you have a, so you have a, like that. So in context, we'll have Do that whole thing slowly. Do 
that with me. Cool. And then right here what we do is we slide up so that our first finger is on the seventh fret of our A string and our third finger is on the ninth fret of our D string. Again, strum that downwards twice. Then we put our middle finger on the ninth fret of our A string. And then you go back to the first chord with your first finger on that seventh fret of your A string. Same pattern here, down, down, put your finger down there. Then you go back, do it one more time, and then one more time. Like that. And we have like the same strumming pattern. This is like the motif of it, if you will where you strum downwards twice on the first chord, put a new finger on, down on the, in this case, on the ninth fret of your A string, strum one more time, back to the normal chord, and then you strum it again after a pause. Okay, so, and here, this time, what we're gonna do is we're going to hammer on from the ninth fret of our low E to the tenth fret of our low E, and then up on the B and the high E strings, just like the first chord. So you have, Okay. So in context. And then here we're just wrapping it up. We're going to put our first finger on the seventh fret of our low E string and our third finger on the ninth fret of our A string. And this is very similar to this chord. It's a similar pattern. We're going two down strums there. Then we're going to put our pinky on to the 11th fret of our A string. Then you take it off, put it on to the 12th, take it off, 11th, take it off. So just like that. Do that with me. And in context. Here we go back to the first riff to finish off the entire thing. So I'll do the whole thing for you real quick. So that's the first time through. The second time through changes slightly just at the end where you're just ending there on like an E minor kind of chord where your first finger is just going to be on the second fret of your A string and you're just going to strum that one time. And that's kind of leads you into this like transition into the chorus where we're doing this like kind of thing where we're going to slide up to the third fret of the G string, hit the third fret of your high E, then you're going to take your third finger back a fret to the second fret pull off to the high E string, and then we're going to hit the first finger on the first fret of the G string, like that. So you have, and that leads you into the chorus. So the chorus is exactly the same as the verse. do the second one rather than the first one and then the second one. So that drops you into a verse that then goes, you do the little pre-chorus-y transition thing and then another chorus and right at that point we get into a solo. Real quick before the solo though, we have this which is just the open E string to the second fret of the low E to the fourth fret. So that leads you into the solo. The solo starts with your first finger barred across the B and the high E strings on the fifth fret. You just strum those once. Right after you strum those, you're gonna take your third finger on the seventh fret of your G string and you're gonna bend it upwards. Then you're gonna strum the B and the high E on the fifth fret one more time. So you have like a 
then right here we hit the seventh fret of our B. Wait a second, and then what we're gonna do is we're going to play the fifth fret of our G string and we're gonna hammer it onto the sixth fret. So we have like a like that. Then we hit the fifth fret of our B in high E, and then the seventh fret of our B in high E. So we have like a and then we do strike down and up. So we have like a then right there, what we're going to do, this is kind of like part B of this solo, we're going to hit the 12th fret of our B and high E strings together. And then what we're going to do is we're going to hit the 14th fret of our G. Then from the 12th, we're going to hammer on to the 13th. So we have like a... Just like that. And then we're going to hit the 12th fret of our B and high E strings again. So far... Then right here, what we're going to do is bend up the 15th fret of our B string. So right there, we kind of have this little fast riff, where right after the bend up on the 15th fret of our B string, we then hit the 15th fret, like naturally, just no bend up. Then what we do is we hit the 12th fret of our B string, 15th fret of our B, back down to the 12th. You have like, and I would like almost hammer on and pull that off, 12, 15, 12. Okay, then you hit the 15th fret of your G string, hit the 15th, I'm sorry, the 12th fret of your high E, 15th fret of your G string, 14th fret of your G, and then we have 12, 14, 12 on our G string. So it's like, a, like that. It's about that speed. In context. And then in further context. Okay? And then right there, what we do is we hit that fifth fret of our B and a high E strings one more time. And then we hit the seventh fret naturally. And then we hammer on from the 5th fret to the 6th fret of our G string. Hit the 5th fret of our B and high E strings again. So you have like a... And then you hit that twice more, down up. So that second time through, you have like a... 7th fret of our G string. Hammer on from the 5th to the 6th, just like we did before. But right here, what we do is we hit the 5th fret of our B string to the 7th fret of our D string. So you have like a... that slowly one more time then what we do is we hit the seventh fret of our B and high E strings together and then what we do is we bend up the ninth fret of our G string and you play it one two three four five six seven eight nine So we have like a I'll play the whole solo for you. So that leads you back into the chorus, and then another chorus, and then we have this little outro thing. It's pretty similar to the transition into the chorus, actually. We're going to slide up to the third fret of our G string, hit the third fret of our high E, slide down to the second fret of our G string, hit the second fret of our high E, and then you slide down to the first fret, and then you play the high E. Like that. 
Do that with me. And that is how you play Teenagers by My Chemical Romance. If you have a song request, comment it. If you wish to be notified of future videos, hit the bell. I sincerely hope that you are well. Please do me a favor and hit that like button blue. I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe too. I hope this video has been a blessing. You've been watching. Logan's Lessons.